So hey everybody, uh, I'm as always I'm Basekip, uh, bringing you guys another game from the Star Series Season Three. So um, this is going to be Kharkiv versus Next KZ. For those of you who aren't familiar with Kharkiv, um, it's Art Style's new team. So um, the old captain of well, the captain of the now defunct, I believe, Dare team, and also the the old captain of of Navi back from there. Their TI one, well, so the international one, um, and before that days. So, should be some exciting Dota. Very much looking forward to it. Um, unfortunately, Next KZ right now playing with a couple of stand-ins, um, or standings, I guess. But um, should still be should be a good uh, should be a good game all the same. Um, again, I guess disclaimers. I'm going to make mistakes. It's gonna happen. I'm sorry about it. Um, know that I feel terrible when I do, um, and that I'm. I always. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Corey. Yes, there is a chat. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna make mistakes. It's gonna happen. Look forward to the angry YouTube comments. Um, all of that. If I drop out, my internet's been a little bit flakier recently. Then I'll be back um, within a few seconds, and you might get a little bit of uh, cursing under your breath. Um, as that, well, under my breath, as that happens, and oh, also, um, I'm looking to do daily content. So this is this is this is going to count for today, and but otherwise, um, I'm looking to put out, um, you know, games replays every single day. So if anybody has any content that they'd like me to cast, just send me send me an email, send me a YouTube message, um, demo files match IDs, it's all fine. I'm more than willing to, to cover any of it since looking to practice daily. Um, and if I want people to take me seriously, then I sort of need to take myself seriously. So that's the that's the point behind the daily practice. So without boring you all to death, gonna be getting into the picks and bands. So Lone Druid and Rubik banned out by Next KZ and Nature's Prophet Ducks here and Lycan by Kharkiv. So Invoker rounds off the bands for Next KZ. So not that many sort of quote-unquote power heroes making it through. The Naga Siren's there, um, and let's see if mm, maybe Kar could pick it up, but then also, well, the Shrek is going to be the first pickup, so next KZ could go for Naga and Enigma right now. So Naga going to be picked up, and Enigma, so um, big wombo combo for them right now. Um, all sorts of things to, to round that up as well. But Kharkiv looks like they're just going to be playing an extremely similar style to what Empire did um, up against Next KZ in the last game. Super aggressive heroes, great ganking potential from all of them. Again, any pairing of two heroes um, from their team, expect them to be, ab be able to easily get killed. And it's almost going to be a perfect mirror of the lineup that just took out Next KZ. And Venomancer are picked up by Next KZ in response to that TA, so that's going to be their hard support. And some fantastic damage on top um, as well. Lashrak, a great pickup if you're giving away, well, not giving away, but if the enemy team is going to have the Naga Siren, since while you're invulnerable, you can, well, just before you get hit by the sleep, pop everything. So pop Pulse Nova, pop Edict. And then when everybody tries to cluster around to, you know, to suck everybody together and fight while well, you are pulsing and doing damage the whole time. So winner going to be banned out. Some frustrating groans um, there, but and Queen of Pain as well. So Next KZ in terms of lanes right now, maybe going to see Enigma in the jungle and Venomancer defending the Naga Siren. So they're still going to solo mid and maybe a hard lane solo as well. Enigma could take that hard lane solo. Um, and Karki picking up the Tidehunter, so some good some good team fight from, well, for them as well. And we'll have to see how how next KZ try and put more wombo combo into their lineup while still sort of dealing with their lanes. And so the Quap ban, well, the Quap who is now who has been banned, would have been fantastic. O offers them a solo mid and offers them some more great um, damage on top of the wombo combo lineup that they've already got. They've already got a hard support. They could run something like the Disruptor uh, solo mid. He does not have to be a hard support. But Shadow Shaman going to be picked up, so more than likely going to see him as the solo mid this game. So not going to see um, an underfarmed 
um, sort of underleveled hard support uh, Shadow Shaman. And while he does play the hard support role very, very well, and sort of a similar story to the Rubik, he just does so, so well with the farm. If he has, if he has a blink, if he has a BKB, then he's just absolutely a monster. And with levels as well, all of his skills are worth pumping points into. Um, he's got no wasted skill points whatsoever. So, and Luna gonna going to round off the the lineup for um, Kharkiv right now. And yeah, they could go for a really ballsy level one rush, <laughs> but w with Gush and and Meld for minus armor, and then the the Lunar Blessing with for the plus damage, but I, I don't know if we're going to see that happen. I'd, I would be impressed if we did, but uh, Luna's going to be the hard carry, and and great nukes as well there. And uh, another, well, I wonder, I guess if you if you cast the Eclipse um, before you get songed as well, then um, it'll also go through and do some really big damage. So it's a good deterrent um, against the Naga Siren, and then I mean, just good team fight all around for Kharkiv. They've got the, the Chen Ultimate and a mech, presumably, as well, um, to heal them up. And next to they've got good damage, but it's fairly prolonged. And so Bounty Hunter are going to be picked up um, to more than likely be their hardline solo, so Enigma going to be able to go and sit in that jungle. And for Kharkiv, what are we going to see? Oh, I'm going to have to switch, switch to free camera. So anyway, then I'll just pull up last hits and the knives. Again, disclaimer, it won't be super accurate because Enigma is jungling, so I'll probably quickly switch to, to Networth, but it's a good way to keep track of denies early on, and Networth doesn't really doesn't really give you that, and the denies are a good indication of who's sort of winning a lane. Anyway, so next KZ, Mantis is going to be playing the Naga Siren. Equal is going to be on the Venomancer. Ness T, again, going to be on the Bounty Hunter. Stalcat on that Shadow Shaman, and Cobra going to be on that enigma. I already picked up eight clarities, so he is going to be in that jungle. And a little bit of a shout out um, to Havast by Always Wanna Fly. So over on um, Kharkiv, we've got Always Wanna Fly playing the Lashrak. We've got Artstyle going to be on the Luna, so in the, in the sort of hard carry role. We've got Dubas playing the Chen. Um, Unstop playing the Templar Assassin. And that leaves uh, M or Mag to play the Tide Hunter, and so it looks like hard lane solo Tide Hunter going to have TA soloing up the middle lane, and Luna going to be defended down on bot by Lashrak, and Chen going to be in the safe jungle, and already picking up some Sentry Wards as well, so maybe anticipating um, warded pull camp, but looks like that's not going to be the case, and also Sentry Wards going to be a great counter um, to this Bounty Hunter. And last second, going to deny out that that regen rune. So Mag maybe can, gonna have a well both both hardline solos gonna have a tough time, and Mag already getting harassed quite a bit. Shackle, right click, and the and the Riptide picked up as well. So Mag already maybe gonna have to pop off that salve. Yeah, Tide Hunter not gonna have a fun time um, up on this top lane, and nor is the Bounty Hunter on bot. Just gonna gonna hide for now and Dubas gonna be heading over with those sentries in a bit, but Bounty Hunter may be gonna be able to find a little bit more XP than Mag is gonna be able to uh, up on the stop lane. Stockat trying to harass, but Tide Hunter able to hold hold his own reasonably um, using the anchor smash and forcing Stockat back just a little bit. And middle lane, it's actually gonna be a solo mid Venomancer, so trying to shut down this TA um, as best they possibly can. Um, I thought it was going to be the Shadow Shaman, but um, so it's going to be a solo mid Venom. And we have seen people like Cinderin um, do this before. It's not all that unusual, and it's it's absolutely fantastic against TA. I mean, trading hits against a Venomancer is something that you definitely do not want to do. Poison Touch means that in just a hit for hit exchange, then Venomancer pretty much wins out um, every single time. He is going to be harassed quite a bit um, by the Side Blades, but. Again, just going to be chewing through the refraction, um, absolutely no problem. And Mag shackled up now. Cobra comes in from the side, but it's only going to be one stun from the Malefus. But Eidolons are here along with the Snet, so that's going to be first blood. Picked up by Mantis. So. Kark. 
Kharkiv, I'm gonna get that. Well, Kharkiv, maybe having a little bit of a harder time now with their hardline solo and mag, only level one. Well, Nesty almost level three. The sentries still have not been put down. Um, they have been transferred over, so always when a fly does have them now, so he's gonna not be doing too badly um, in keeping the bounty hunter shut down. And two minute rune, he's gonna be spotted up by Kharkiv, so unstop, gonna be able to grab that up in his bottle, but hard lane Tidehunter not having a fun time, and all he can do right now is just stay in XP range. It's sort of all that he needs to do, all he needs to do is get boots um, and the Ravage up, and that that's really what his team needs from him, so having to play safe like this is not a big problem, but a good aggressive ward down, well good defensive ward actually by nice KZ, um, spotting out any t TP support and keeping tabs on mag um, at all times. And equal, picked up that ring of the um, Ring of Basilisk on mid lane, so free plus six damage for him. And again, TA just losing all of her refraction charges just from a single hit um, of that poison touch. But Dubas picked up a Wildkin Warchief, so Tornado going to be harassing equal in a big way. And this this could really taint, turn the tides of mid lane. I mean, just look at that tornado damage. And equals already out of um, already out of regen, so needs to back off for now. And actually, just going to loop around, trying to get away from that tornado. It does it does absolutely ridiculous damage. It can completely turn um, a middle lane. And always want to fly, pulling down on bot. So art style getting pretty much full XP from this lane. I already picked up a Ring of Aquila and has another Ring of Protection as well, so maybe going to be heading towards Tranquil Boots and, and a Soul Ring. It's something that we've been seeing a little bit more um, on these agility um, carries, like the Naga Siren as well. So she's got a Habassi, so probably going to be grabbing um, an Aquila, but could just be rushing straight for that Radiance. She's going to be relatively uncontested um, up on this top lane. So I'll have to see what she opts for. And next case, either they're well, they're, they're dedicating a lot to keeping her safe, but Enigma, you know, not really losing out. Um, just going to keep jungling up. And again, Nasty not doing as badly as the Tidehunter um, down on bottom lane. And Unstop grabbing that 4 minute rune, so it has those illusions. But equal. Only level 4 on mid lane. Unstop almost level 6. So again, Tornado turning the tides a little bit. And bottom tower already going down um, for next KZ. And there's just nothing that the bounty hunter can do about it. It's really expected sort of for this to happen. And it looks like next, K next KZ are going to be trying to trade up on top. And we'll have to see which team breaks first and throws TP support. It looks like the tier 2 is already going to be going down for next KZ with the tier 1 already up for Kharkiv. Tier 1 going to be going down right now, but TP support can come in before they get to the tier 2. And the fortification pops off as well. They are going to get it, but the tier 2 goes down on bot at the same time, so trading two towers for one. Next KZ, up that first blood for now, and Art Style going to be sent back to base. Um, fairly low on health, and yep, picks up the Aquila and the Tranquil Boot. So fairly early game, and well, fairly ga early game item build for him, and it, he's going to be able to make good use um, of the nukes. And next KZ, now looking to try and pick up this tier 2 tower for themselves as well, but Luna coming in, not quite level 6 um, just yet, but Lucent Beam going to be able to do uh, reasonable damage, and looks like next is just going to back off for now. Uh, and, and as soon as I've got the Serpent Wards up as well, pushing down towers should be absolutely no problem, but getting even a slight gold edge um, in this game is going to be absolutely critical, and it's really going to come down to Luna um, up against the Naga Siren, and whether or not uh, next KZ are going to be able to to land that wombo combo that they're really hoping for. The big thing with their wombo combo, un unfortunately, is that it, it's going to rely on a rushed um, BKB from Enigma because you know they're going to hit the um, hit the song, and then everybody's going to group up, try and get the the black hole off, and unless they grab Tidehunter, then black hole is just going to be cancelled by the Ravage. So. Um, BKB going to be a, a really important point. And because he doesn't really need to have the positioning from the blink, um, we'll see if that's what he opts for this game. Maybe going to be rushing a mech um, as well, but 
we'll have to see. Gonna be a little bit of a smoke gank on mid Stalkat coming in. Venomous Gale lands into Unstop. Do they have any detection right now? And Cobra backing off from the tower. And no detection either. Next KZ going really aggressive, but always want to fly in here to defend. Artstock comes in from the back as well, and Dubas, as always, just lurking in the background. So, next KZ maybe just going to go for a bit of a push right now. We'll have to see. Mantis, again, getting great farm up on top lane, and it will just switch over to net worth uh, right now. And Nesty finally getting some farm on mid. Equal, looks like he's going to be picked off, but does manage to get his ultimate off. Always want to fly. Going to be picked off by the dots. Stalkat going down to art style. And Dubas actually finishing him off. So two for win the trade. Fortification pops off on the mid tower. And these creeps are all very, very low. Are they going to be able to pick up this tower in time? TA is going to be able to tank it for a bit. Mag goes over. Anchor smash the creeps, but only level 4 right now. And going to give the tower to him, so getting closer to his mana boots. Mantis continues to push a little bit up on top lane, but TPs are coming in right this second. And uh, Kharkiv not wanting to give away even a slight edge. Kills now evened up, so tower is slightly, well, slightly advantageous uh, to Kharkiv, and I would expect uh, gold a little bit in their favor, but 1k, that's pretty much just the tower. And XP actually in the dire favor um, for now. And Artstop, back down on bot, gonna try and get a little bit more farm. It'll be interesting to see what item build um, he goes for this game. Maybe just going for a BKB and well, equal, go, getting gone on, on mid lane. Split Earth not quite gonna land, but looks like he's gonna be picked off. Trying to do as much damage as he can to always want to fly. And Stalkat comes in from the side, gets the Ether Shock off as well, so one for one actually the trade. And Nesty comes in, he's got that track, so unstop, no reliable way for him to stay safe. And the Hex down as well. Cobra just needs to get in position for the stun. Shackle on top as well. Unstop in big trouble right now. And Refraction on cooldown. Black Hole pops off. This should be a kill. No TP support coming in for now. Nesty tanking at the tower. Unstop gets finished up. TP's come in now. Always want to fly is here. Gets the splitter. Stalkat maybe going to be picked off. Just one more right click. That's all he needs. And does finish him off. And Nesty in from the side. Spots out mag. So looks like nice case. You're just going to back off for now. But again, things are looking very, very even. And Mantis up to pick up some power treads um, as well. So not going to just sit on naked boots. Um, and looks like he is going to be heading towards that relic. Um, 2.1k gold up on him. And we'll see if maybe he picks up just a, a naked vitality booster to give himself a little bit more health. Pops up the illusions. But is it going to be enough to put uh, get rid of the tower? It's actually now just in deny range. So Mag's going to be able to, to clean that up as soon as he cleans up these creeps. And that's a bit of a boon for Kharkiv as well, being able to to get that advantage from the from the denied tower because I mean all that the towers hold on the map is is potential gold and that gold potential is available equally to both teams so every single deny is is shrinking that pool of potential gold Nesty going on to unstop a little bit but he's in trouble right now and the dust pops off as well Ravage just for Nesty Mantis in from the side as well but not able to do anything and he's going to try and TP out right now. Is the burst going to be there? Split Earth does land so two kills for uh, Kharkiv and should be a tower as well. I'm just going to have a sip of water. Sorry guys. Ugh. So Cobra heads up towards top. Has actually picked up some mana boots and mag unstop and always want to fly going to be pushing onto this 2-1 tower. Looks like they're going to be able to pick it up. Um, edict popped off, so level 4 Edict just absolutely shredding the tower. And no, well, no fortification but equal. Taking big damage from Artstar right now. Hand of God pops off as well, so Artstar picking up a double kill. Taking a lot of damage from the Poison Nova and the Poison Touch, but going to be able to survive for now. Nesty comes in. Is he going to be able to pick him off? Yep. Not quite sent home in time. And Shuriken able to finish him off. So next KZ, only 3 kills the deficit right now, 2k XP in favor of the Radiant along with 3k gold, but far from unrecoverable. And TA getting good farm, um, and has her Blink Dagger picked up as well, so just, I mean almost to peak effectiveness, just needs a couple more ranks in meld and her burst potential is as high as it gets until she starts building some damage. So heading towards that, that BKB or the, the Desolator. And TA's damage is just 
absolutely ridiculous. I mean, squishy hero with low armor, half of their health gone in a single melt hit, and there's there's no escaping it either with the with the slow from those traps. So, just such a dangerous, dangerous hero, and a, a fantastic ganker. I'm I'm almost tempted to say you know, Night Stalker 2.0. I'm able to take a, a solo lane probably a little bit better, and just in the same vein, does not care about towers whatsoever. Um, will dive all the way behind to to kill you under your tower and then and then take your tower. So um, I guess it's always a bit awkward trying to figure out things to say during pauses. And looks like it's going to be unpaused right now. So. Um, and both teams, again, fairly um, cooldown dependent in terms of their team fight. Um, Eclipse and Ravage up against the Song of the Siren, Black Hole, um, and the Poison Nova as well. Nesty getting slowed down on mid, dusted up as well. Looks like he's going to be picked off. Four Kharkiv heroes all over him. So another kill. Four uh, Kharkiv. And we'll see if they translate this into a push as well. They've already picked up all the tier 1 towers and the tier 2 on bot and holding onto their own towers reasonably well, only losing the, the tier 1 and the tier 2 um, on that top lane. And again, very similar to the last game, um, Empire versus Next KZ, they've got great potential to Roshan. Between the Gush minus armor um, and the Meld minus armor, Roshan's going to be going down absolutely no problem. And Edict doing good damage on top as well. Next KZ, they know about it, they've got the black hole up and they're TPing in right now. Looping around the back, Roshan not going to go down in time, Venomous Gale hits on three, Song of the Siren on top as well, this is going to be a catastrophic black hole, uh, maybe losing a little bit of duration, but four heroes going to go down right now, and Unstop going to be picked off as well, huge, huge team fight for Nice KZ, and a free Roshan as well, game completely swinging back in their favor right now, wow, that was, that was just terrifying. I was going to say that, you know, not quite coordinating the, the black hole and the, the song cancel, but you don't want to get ravaged, so um, probably the safest decision. And Age is picked up as well. Vanguard actually up on Mantis right now, so not rushing straight towards um, straight towards the Radiance. And we'll have to see if he even opts for it. It's great against the TA, but could just end up going um, for the Diffusal. A bit more of an illusion-based build. Um, as opposed to using the Manta to farm up and, you know, get to a heart, get a little bit beefier and sort of tar maybe targeting that middle game um, a little bit more. And if Nog is able to participate in these ganks, um, it's only a big help um, for the Bounty Hunter and the rest of the team. Um, track Gold just makes it so worthwhile for them to get kills. Five seconds there, onto Ardstyle, turns around now with the TP support in for Mag and the Ravage is off cooldown as well, so next KZ going to back off. Kharkiv, five heroes moving down towards the bottom lane as well. Only sentries here um, for Nice KZ, so not going to spot any movements. But sentries just proliferating all over the map right now. And what is art style building right now? Mithril Hammer picked up, so it looks like he's going to be heading towards um, that BKB yeah, and Ogre Club as well. So, going to be going for that. Good split earth, lands on his equal. Other shock, harassing the creeps down, but blinking by unstop. Equal in big trouble right now. Earn charge on him as well. Ravage flies through, hits on two. Just gonna get the poison nova off in time, but Nesty immediately picked off as well. Art style in here with the eclipse. Stalkat on the retreat. Gonna try and TP out. Is there anything to cancel? Loosen beam. Does manage to do so. So three heroes picked off for Kharkiv. And Mantis continues to farm down on bot. Picks up the blade of alacrity. So. Looks like he's either going to be heading into Yasha Manta or maybe into the Fusal Blade. Um, we'll have to see, but Kharkiv deciding this is their moment to go for a little bit of push. And while the Aegis is up on Naga, she's not doing that much with her first life, let alone the second. The ultimate is really there f you know, for the setup, but the Illusions aren't doing all that much damage just yet. And Tier 2 taking a lot of damage on mid. Fortification popped off, but Edict there for a few more seconds. TP coming in, Mantis just threatening it. Has well actually has, doesn't have the song up and not enough mana either, so just getting um Karkiv to back off for now. And black hole cooldown only gonna be up in twenty seconds as well, so just a little bit of mind games by Mantis there. 
and Karkiv immediately backing off, not wanting to get caught out um, by the song. But a, a very ballsy TP had had Karkiv had that song um, timed down to I guess sort of the second, then they, they would have known it wasn't up. But I mean, it, it was five seconds. I'm not going to criticize anybody for that. Um, I, I know that I forget to write down the Roshan timer from time to time. Anyway, Mag moves in, Song of the Siren pops off, Black Hole is off cooldown, but no cluster up heroes just yet. Mag probably going to be immediately picked up. Stalkat looking for the disable. Zap, Mag actually going to be sent back to base, is sent back in time. Unstop in from the side, good ward trap. Cobra finds two with the, with the uh, Black Hole, but he's going to be picked off. So two for one right now, Mantis goes down is revived by the Aegis, and Lashrak picked off as well. Good Aethershock in from the side. Next KZ, maybe now a little bit on the retreat, and Artstyle still wants this. Stalkat is going to be able to make it out. Artstyle taking some big damage. Aethershock as well. Gets up onto the high ground. Venomous kill, not quite finding him, but the net looks like he's going to be picked off. Mantis grabbing that kill. Stalkat fighting up against Mag. Has the shackle, just waiting for that anchor smash cooldown, but not going to be there in time. Double kill for Mantis. And yep, so Diffusal Blade almost finished up for him. But good play by Next KZ. Then finding a, a few good kills. And the, the Aegis, I mean, just from that advantage that they took earlier in the game, sh uh, shining through um, in that fight just then. And while Mantis' ne net worth may look a little bit low right now, it's because items on the courier do not show up um, in your net worth for whatever reason. So. Big boost there, and it, it's a bit frustrating actually in terms of the net worth graph not showing, um, not showing that because you do have heroes sort of jumping around um, all over the place, and it's not really like you can lose any of the value um, on the courier. I mean, at most you can lose it for the courier's respawn duration, but items no longer dropping on the ground from the courier, so I don't really, I don't really see any reason to to have that sort of thing happen where net worth suddenly drops because um, items are on the courier. Anywho, a little bit of a tangent there. So BKB finished up on art style. Karkiv now going for a little bit of a push on mid lane as well. And they've got Ravage up and they know that Black Hole is on cooldown, so they're going to be more than comfortable to go for this t this push right now. The Poison Nova is up and it is ranked 2 as well, so that's going to be a big source of damage. But that's more just to stop Karkiv from, from pushing after maybe a little bit of a skirmish, gonna have all their heroes low, but they're gonna pick up this tier 2 equal, maybe cut a little bit out of position right now, he's gonna immediately be picked off and TA picking up that kill 2.4k gold up on her so, Mantis continues to push up on top but gonna have to TP back in just a second, and again AoE ultimates are not up for next KZ and the Venomants are down as well tier 3 tower already taking a lot of damage, good war trap onto mag, not gonna be able to get that ravage off, but the eclipse flying through only just gonna find cover at the very end. Equal TP straight into the middle of this. Hand of God pops off to try and counter the poison nova. Nesty on their retreat, dusted up on him. Still has an urn, no, still has the drum and the stick charges, so gonna be able to get out. But Tarkov now maybe a little bit on their retreat, and the poison nova doing its job. Lots of damage. Still holding on to that ravage. And Dubas TP cancelled off. Nesty picking up a kill. Unstop in trouble as well. Another track kill for next KZ. And it's really what they need. Only two kills the deficit, but with the track gold bonus, um, that's really making it up. And I mean, look at this game. It's so, so close. Zero XP in it. Pretty much zero gold. Only 1k in favor of the Radiant. Um, so, just a drop in the bucket. So, this this game could really still go either way. Next Roshan's going to be up in a few minutes. TA down for 20 seconds right now. Has enough for buyback if uh, next KZ try to go for anything too aggressive. But the Ravage is off cooldown, and so is the Black Hole. Song of the Siren, just waiting on that for another 50 seconds. So that's probably gonna be the going to be the key for next KZ. We'll have to see if they try to go for this team fight right now. And they're just gonna back off and, and be happy with that for now. And neither team well. Just about to say, another team really with all that map vision, but next KZ getting some wards down. And yep, same deal for Kharkiv. So Kharkiv maybe a little bit on the back foot um, for now, and Mantis farming up extremely well actually. Um, gonna be heading towards that, probably a Mantis style, uh, reasonably soon. 
And yeah, again, just gonna be waiting for that Song of the Siren cooldown uh, to try and go for another big team fight. We'll have to see if anything happens before this next Roshan go, uh, before this next Roshan is up. But Karkiv, uh, no. So Song Song is now up. So what Ravage pops off by Mag? What was that? Oh, I, I hope no one saw that. <laughs> uh oh, that is that is not good. That could be that could be extremely decisive. Just just a little misclick, going for Anchor Smash, hitting Ravage, and with that, I mean, Karkiv's team fight is just crippled for the next however long. And I, I guess Nekkezi must have seen it. It was on creeps. I mean, surely they know. And surely they have to be feeling so much more confident with that. And Roshan's going to be up extremely soon as well. So what are... What are Karkiv going to do with that? Do they have a smoke picked up? What are they going for right now? Art Style picked up a Yasha, so going to be he heading towards a Mantha Style um, of his own. But, yeah, smoke picked up on Always Wanna Fly. But that, that, that Ravage, that misclick could almost decide this entire game. We'll see. They might be able to wait out the cooldown, but Roshan's going to be up soon. Both teams know it, and with the song and the black hole available, Karkiv just do not want to fight in that pit, especially with no Ravage. Eclipse is there, and Luna almost level 16 as well, so that's going to be a great source of damage. Lashrak as well, again, going to be able to pop off anything, uh, pop off everything, and just stand in the immunity and get a lot of damage off, but not having that Ravage is going to be going to be dangerous, and I, I think I've, I think I've ragged on enough um, about how big a point um, that is, so next case you're going to feel way more confident um, for now, and again, 45 seconds until the Ravage, Roshan going to be up in a few seconds, and Mantis picking up an Invis rune as well, there's plenty of, no, uh, actually no sentries right now for, for Kharkiv, and dewarding a bit for an SKZ, so they've really laid their claim um, to this next, well stake their claim to this next Roshan. And we'll have to see if there's a response from Karkiv. I mean, giving away Ro Roshan for free is definitely not something that they want to do, but we'll have to see it. So Roshan now up. Trapped down, keeping an eye on things. But it's a very, very tense moment. But looks like Ravage's going to be up in two seconds. Okay, so I guess a bit of a sigh of relief for Mag. That was a potentially crucial uh, misclick, but or or may maybe next level mind games that I'm not that I'm not privy to. But um, so Ravage now have cooldown. So AOE ultimates for both teams all up, and it's going to be big. We'll have to see who try tries to make the move first. Mantis almost up to his Mantis style, so probably going to be. Maybe waiting around for that, but gonna have it reasonably soon. And what are Karkiv waiting around for right now? Art style heading towards his Manta style as well. Okay, th okay, this is a little bit of an aside, but Art style last, I guess, half of the name style going for Manta style. Mantis first half of the name, very close to Manta, also going for Manta style. I get the, the patterns that I pick out. So, random aside aside, um, looks like Harkov going to be going for a little bit of a push uh, down the mid lane, but next Kizzy, again, a good aggressive ward from them, spotting out any sort of action, and going to have a bit of a pause, so I will just take a quick opportunity to, to look at as much as I can see of the gold and XP grabs. Um, so, it looks like gold pretty much dead even. Um, XP a little bit in favor of the Dire. Uh, right now, but has that translated into any big levels? Um, so we've got rank two black hole up on Enigma, rank two hand of God up on Chan, along with the rank two uh, Ravage Stalkat, not quite to the second set of serpent words, um, but gonna have that in just 200 XP. And Art Style and Mantis both waiting for their their third ranks of their ultimates, and then August Iron Ultimate becomes brokenly good. Um, at, at level 3, 60 second cooldown, um, I mean 7 second duration, it's absolutely ridiculous. And it, it just means that they can use it to engage fights, to disengage fights, to defend well, um, use it as, you know, a secondary glyph, uh, it's even better than glyph, you know, 
it, it gives them great great utility out of that ultimate. And I mean, you compare it to things like the Enigma Black Hole, which are at rank three, um, you know, 180 seconds. Ravage rank three, um, you know, 150 seconds um, at all levels, but it's really really scary. Um, that song of the siren. So gonna have an unpause right now. I will just switch back over to net worth. So Mantis doing reasonably well, but again, art style gonna get a big boost um, from getting some items dropped off. So he's finished off his Mantis style. Mantis very close to his as well. Maybe just save him for, for buyback. And just gonna be happy to push for now and maybe just go for the TP in again and go for the immediate song. So TPing in now, not going for the aggressive TP. Heading in now, Song of the Siren pops off. Two, maybe three in position for this black hole. Cobra trying to find it, drops the black hole. Here it goes, three stuck. Hand of God pops off, Ravage on top as well. Cobra immediately picked off. Nesty almost down as well. Eclipse just doing so much damage. Mantis picked off, two dead right now for next KZ. Everybody else extremely low on health. Unstop picking off equal as well. Buybacks right now, but Karkip already onto the racks and the Glaives just bouncing all through the base. Lots of free farm for Luna. Mantis buying back as well, but only two heroes right now. Um, four next KZ. So gonna be a Rex. Four Kharkiv. And TP's back to their towers as well. Not gonna surrender anything. Um, Dire just gonna be able to pick that off, so no deny, but... We'll have to see what happens from here. And everything used um, in, those, in that last fight. Song of the Siren. But again, going to be up in two seconds. That 60 second cooldown at level three um, is just so obscenely powerful. And it means that Karkiv can't really feel comfortable maybe going for Roshan. Because if NyxKZ sort of have an idea of how much health it has left, you know, if they have a track on somebody um, in the pit, then there's always the potential for this song, um, Ages Steel. But that, that last team fight, it just really shows that even with that, that great black hole, next KZ didn't have all that much damage to, to layer on top of it. I mean, Hand of God almost topping everybody in Kharkiv straight back up, and the Ravage popping off along with the Eclipse, um, just being absolutely devastating. And Equal now in big trouble, gushed up, Lucent Beam as well. Mantis in here has that song, so the defensive power is always there. Dust popping off onto an ST, always want to fly, good split earth, gets sent back to base just in time by Dubas. And the Split Earth really saving him there, so well played by him, but we'll have to see, we will have to see, I mean, but what happens from here, both teams are just really just trying to outmaneuver, oh, okay, that's a really stupid statement, so obviously both teams trying to outmaneuver one another, and keeping an eye on these ultimate cooldowns is so, so important, 20 seconds on the Ravage, going to be more than, well, just under a minute um, on the Black Hole, so... Karkiv maybe a little bit more confident to push uh, for now, and Ravage definitely going to be there for the next team fight. Song is always there to try and disengage, and without the black hole, um, without the black hole being off cooldown, there's no real reason to use it aggressively. Um, there's not there's not that much else to set up. Maybe set up a good ward trap, um, something along those lines. The positioning advantage is always great, but saving it for being able to disengage from this next team fight. Um, could be a really big help for next KZ and Kharkiv already heading up towards this top tower and an observer word for them where the dire tier 3 used to be so keeping tabs on who's defending this lane and as soon as somebody comes back to try and deal with the raxed creeps um, in this lane expect to maybe see them just go high ground um, once they've cleaned up this tier 2 and Mantis now finishing up his Mantis style so Next KZ, Black Hole now off cooldown, and we'll have to see if they go for this here. Tier 2 already sacrificed, Mantis moving into position, is he going to go for the Song? Good spread by Kharkiv, it's not going to be clustered up. Song pops off, but look at this, everybody just in a really broad circle, always want to fly, stuck in the ward trap. Next KZ, really want to pick him off before this fight start, Mag comes in from the side, and taking big damage. Is he going to be able to get the Ravage off in time? Ravage gets off. Big black hole. Hits on three. Unstop. Doing huge damage from the side. Two for two the trade right now. Dubas trying to get out. Mantis right clicking on the art style. The two hard carries.
trading blows. Mantis on their tree right now. I still just gonna farm up those wards. Has the Eagle Song, so winning in the damage race. And Mantis gonna be forced to TP back to base. But three for two the trade. And everything blown as well. But picking off always wanna fly before that team fight start just protected protected this KZ from a lot of damage and it was and especially I mean he got trapped out around here. The rest of his team still had to travel in from the side, and Mantis put himself right in between the two of them. And that pickoff with the war trap was super, super decisive. And Kurt are going to be flying up to grab that bottle, um, which was dropped in exchange for the gem, but... Big three-man black hole by Cobra as well. Um, ultimates just used so, so effectively in that last fight. And with everything on cooldown, we'll have to see who is more willing to go for the Roshan. But again, Song of the Siren is off cooldown. So even if even if things turn sour for next KZ in the Roshan pit, then they've got a great way to disengage from it. While Ravage is off cooldown, it's gonna be off cooldown for an well, it's gonna be on cooldown, sorry, for another minute. So Kharkov maybe not gonna be feel all that confident about trying to defend this. They've got sight, they've got the TA trap um, in there, but Next KZ trying to see if they can find a pickoff in the smoke right now, but Kharkiv all grouped up themselves. And do they have a smoke of their own? No, not just yet. Maybe Dubas coming in with one? No, so just suspecting the smoke from Next KZ and staying defensively grouped up. Next KZ not actually going to head into the Roshan pit right now. Going to back off, and they need to take care of their middle lane. Again, being a Rax down just requires that little bit more attention, and it means that you need to. You can't just maneuver freely um, around the map as five like you'd like. You do sort of have a time limit on every single push that you go for, unless you're going down mid. But pushing up against Rax Creep, it, it's so ridiculously slow, and they've still got a tier two up in mid as well to push through. So it looks like Kharkiv immediately heading towards top. Fortification gets forced out. Mantis moves into position, still has the song, but Black Hole again on cooldown. Mag gonna have the Ravage in three seconds. Our Kharkiv going to be able to go high ground right now. Always want to fly. Gets tracked up. Bounty Hunter in from the side. Now running around to try and get back into position. But Stalkat taking big damage. Mantis probably going to try and use the... Well, actually using the ultimate to get damage under Art Style while he's BKB'd. Eclipse still doing big damage, but the Ravage pops off now. Nesty getting picked up as well. Three heroes dead for next KC. Four. Mantis almost picked up as well. Hand of God pops off. Lightning just finishing him off. Five heroes dead for next KC. And the GG is going to be called... Fantastic team fight for Kharkiv, and even even with the song, Black Hole was on cooldown, still going to be on cooldown for another 5 seconds. And Hand of God and Ravage, just such huge team fight abilities on top of the damage from the Lashrak. And the Eclipse as well, just coming straight out of that song, it just did not matter. Poison Nova wasn't able, it just takes too long to, to do its work. So, next KZ going 0 for 2 in in Star Series today, but they, in their defense, they are playing with two stand-ins right now, so team not all there. But anyway, so I've been base kip. Uh, this was a game from the Star Series. Um, so next KZ versus Kharkiv, and I will hopefully be back with the final game um, of the evening in just a minute. So stay tuned uh, for that. And as always, a pleasure to have you guys here. And apologies for all of this, the silly mistakes, which I'm sure there were plenty. Anyway, I'll see you later. I'll see you soon, hopefully.